Hello, my name is Zach Musgrave and I'm a software engineer with Dolt Hub. Today we're going to be demoing how to clone data off of dolthub.com, make some changes, push those changes back to Dolt Hub, and then open a pull request to merge the changes back into the master branch. Uh, if you've ever worked with Git and GitHub, this is, workflow is going to look very familiar because we modeled Dolt and Dolt Hub off of Git and GitHub. So you can see in my browser here, I have a database called cities and states example open. And this is just a little example data set that I created to write a blog post about about a year ago. It just has some American cities and their populations and the states that they're in. Uh, and it's real small, so it's good for our purposes. To get a copy of this thing locally, we're going to clone it using this clone button in the top right of the interface. And if I click this copy icon, it'll copy the clone command to my clipboard so that I can come over here and run it in my terminal. It's a small data set, so it clones really quickly. Uh, I can CD into the directory that the clone command created and run dolt SQL to examine the data locally. So if I run select star from cities, we should see exactly the same data that we see over here on Dolt Hub. So I have a copy of this database locally that I just cloned. Great. Let's go ahead and start making some changes to it. So before I started recording this screencast, I went ahead and created a CSV file with some additional cities that I want to import into the database. So I just chose a couple cities from each of these states to start with the letter C this time. So to import them, I run dolt table import with the dash u option to update the table and give it the name of the file. And there my import uh, completed successfully. Let's see what changed with the dolt diff command. And you can see that there's 10 rows that have been added. Great, so now that we've made our changes, we want to commit them. Uh, just like in Git, we're not going to commit directly to master. That's kind of a faux pas. Instead, we're going to check out a new branch to commit them to with the checkout-b option. And I'm going to name my branch after my username and, and uh, new-cities. Okay, so now I'm on a new branch. I can see that by running the dolt status command and see that this, the cities table has been modified. I'm going to add everything with dolt add dot and then don't commit with a commit message. New cities. Okay, so I've committed my changes to this branch. Let's go ahead and push that branch back to Dolt Hub. And I do this with the dolt push command, and it works exactly like git push. Dolt push origin, and then the name of the branch that I'm on, Zach new slash new cities. So that branch has now been pushed up to Dolt Hub. Uh, if I want to look at it, I can refresh the page here and see that there's a new branch. And I can view that branch and see the new cities. Let's go ahead and open up a pull request using that branch. So I'm gonna, then my base branch will be master and my front branch will be Zach Moose slash new cities. I'm just writing very bare bones descriptions here. Okay, so here's my new pull request. I can look at the diff. And you can see that I've added those 10 cities that you saw from the dolt diff command on the command line. Okay, so we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and in addition to adding some new cities, let's change the cities that are already in the database. So to do that, I'm just going to open a dolt SQL shell again. Let's say I want to update the population in these cities. I know that they're a little bit out of date. We should account for population growth since the last census. So let's increase the size of the cities by 2% across the board. So I'm going to update uh, cities and set population equals population times 1.02. And then update all the rows, exit out of the shell, and run dolt diff. And I can see that I've uh, updated every population cell for every row in the table. Great. So just like before, we're going to run dolt add dots followed by adult commit with a message, new populations. Uh, and then the exact same command we ran before, adult push origin, exact new, new cities. 
Okay, so now that's been pushed up to Dalt Hub, and if we just refresh our existing pull request here, we can now see the new changes that we just pushed. So I can repeat this process as many times as I feel like, just pushing new commits on that same branch until I'm happy that the pull request has all the changes that I want. And when I'm happy with that, then I go uh, back to pull request and I can merge it in. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do on the pull request too, especially leave comments. This is useful if you want other people in your organization to review the changes before you merge them in. We're not gonna do any of that right now. I'm just gonna click the merge button. Okay, so the merge has now been uh, merged in and I can delete that branch. Uh, this is kind of an optional step, but you don't need to leave branches that you've used only for PRs around unless you want to. So back on the database here, uh, you can see we're on the master branch and we have all the changes, all the C-cities are there. Uh, if I go back to my terminal and I don't check out master and then run adult pull, I'm gonna pull that new data down and I can see it in my shell as well. So that's about all we have for you today. Uh, hopefully this is interesting. You can see that the workflow to create changes locally and then push them to a remote and get them merged in with a pull request works basically the same as GitHub. It should be very familiar to all you engineers who use GitHub on a daily basis and that's very much on purpose. Uh, we hope this makes it easy for you to learn how to use these tools, and there's a lot of interesting, powerful things you can do with them. If you want to hear more about it, you should join us on dolthub.com and read some of our blog posts, or join us on Discord, where all of our engineers and salespeople and executives hang out all day long to talk to you and answer questions. Uh, until next time, it's been really fun, and we'll see you later.